Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and today's video is about a project that I want to start and hopefully actually finish. Now, a lot of you know my history with Combat Arms, you know my history with the Lithtech Jupiter game engine, you know my history with game modding and a game that potentially took a lot of my life. <laughs> I was on MPGH for years. I'm still on it. As you can see, I'm still logged in. I can still get in on my old original account. And what I want to talk about today is a game for the Lithtech community. I don't know if there's a game out there for Lithtech fans that, I guess, lack of a better term and a way to explain it in a short way, Gary's Mod. I know that would be very difficult to do with Lithtech, and it doesn't help that I've never played Gary's Mod. So it's kind of basically just going off of YouTube videos. <laughs> um, but that's something I want to bring to the community, is a game that's for the modders. And I thought, what better way to do that than to restart my old project, TPS, which was short for the private server. We all know that the term private server we've all heard it if we're moderate gamers at least you've heard that term at least once in your life whether it's combat arms reborn which wasn't really a private server because that was a whole coded game um but something like wow private servers or uh uh there's clash of clans private servers there's private ser servers for Sonic Run, and uh, what is that other one? Subway Surfers. Like, there's private servers for many games, and I even want to try to make a server again for, I guess 1320 Challenge could fall under private server. Uh, kind of a lot of things can fall under that umbrella of a term. It's basically a third-party created game server for people to use and play to have more customization than they would otherwise have unless they were admins on the other on the actual game. So I wanted to bring up kind of my history with Lethtech today and how it all started. And it actually all started way back on Game Killer, not on MPGH. It started on Game Killer. Uh, it was the first night that I released a mod, I was modifying the RS.res in Combat Arms. RS.res controls the rendering system of the game engine. So if you modified default.ltb and hex edited just the right bytes, you could make certain aspects of the game translucent and you would be able to see them on the Z layer. Well, as you can imagine, me and a guy named Greg around the same time figured that out. And that's where res champs came from. Greg did it first. I did it a very quick second. Um, like two hours later, as like an unknown modder to the community, that was my first mod, was Rezchams, without even knowing that Greg released his. Um, I believe his username was GTBoy4. One of the smartest people I ever met. I really wish I knew what happened to him. And there was one other person that I worked all night to figure that mod out with, who shall not be named because they are in prison now. For something I'm not going to talk about in a YouTube video because it would demonetize the whole thing. It's disgusting. But, traveling through time, I eventually figured out many ways to exploit the game engine, and then eventually we found the Lithtech Jupiter Enterprise package, which had the source code for Nulf 2 in it. So, me and Maddie Patty and Acid Burn and Black Widow, I think that was the original group. We started modifying the source code of Nulf to try to make Combat Arms stuff work in Nulf. And eventually we did get to a point that it did work, but we could never figure out this player animation bug, which apparently was a very easy push to console to command to just disable something. Yeah, Combat Arms private server could have been a thing way sooner than you guys realize if we would have just figured out the player animation bug. <laughs> it was so stupid. I actually have it saved in a text file on an external hard drive. The text file is named Fixes Animation Issue. 
and it's the command that you have to run. I don't remember, and I don't have the hard drive plugged into this computer at the moment. It's downstairs in my other computer, but I digress. So we started with that, and that's where like block fort and things like that came from. One of the maps that I actually initially made. Uh, give me one second. I'm going to find it. Can't find it on here. Oh, well, not a big deal. So, well, what I basically want to do is I want to download a certain Lith Tech Jupiter game, and I want to slowly modify it using Visual Studio to make a mod launcher that also cross-references with a version held on a server and will download certain files to make sure everybody is compatible with everyone at all times. Yes, there will be community-driven mods, and what I'm thinking is a Discord community based around these mods, and it'll be a vote every let's say once a month about a community cre or a community members mod kind of like mod of the month which is something that MPGH used to do basically mod of the month and then it becomes an official add-on to the actual full game whether it's a custom gun a custom wrap um custom like gun texture uh custom player model you know whole nine yards a custom playable multiplayer map whole nine yards but there's a part of me, I don't want to use this unless somebody joins me in this that knows enough C++ to actually go in and kind of fixes it. <laughs> because I want certain things to work like Cabin Fever and other game modes and stuff like that. Almost kind of like how we were starting to get with Combat Arms Reborn. I can't use Combat Arms Reborn. I can't use the game client on that. One, not my project. Two, well, not my project. And three, the res files on that game were modified. We can't extract them or anything like that unless we figure out how they were modified. But even then, still not my project. I don't want to mess with it and, you know, potentially cause problems. So what I was thinking was contract jack contract jack is a multiplayer kind of sequel to nolf 2 i think it was more of a community made game but then it kind of became official um contract jack you can run the whole game from command line if you really want to for loading a server joining other players, adding weapons, and stuff like that. You can do it all from a command line because there's mod support on Contract Jack. Plus, there's the multiplayer demo version in which we can actually go in and there's even less stuff that we have to sift through and remove, or why not just leave it anyway and it's just custom content for the game. And then we just have to add guns and stuff to like attributes. The only problem with using Contract Jack is there's no access to source code, so to speak. So, while yeah, I can... Oh wow, these map updates are here. That's really good to know. I'm going to download these, actually. Because what these are is the files that allow us to use some extracted CA res files in nolf 2 or contract jack so but basically what i want to do is use contract jack in such a way that we just run the game from a command line launcher it controls everything and then from there uh what's in here oh whatever oh this is so useful oh you know why this is useful is because these are already converted from Nexon to regular DTX files and that saves me hours of work. I don't know what DM09 is, but that's okay. I'm surprised these uploads are still here. But long story short, I just want to make a game that's uh, basically for the community to play because it's more fun that way. I wonder if these are still there. I doubt it. I didn't think so. That sucks. 
that was actual caps, and I don't know if I have that anymore. But there's a bunch of stuff that I want to try to do, and I want to make it community-driven, and I want it to be a PC game. Yes, I could make a game on Unity 3D and just make it work with the Steam Workshop, but that's not the game engine and physics and all that that we that I know and love and enjoyed with Combat Arms and Nolf 2 and Contract Jack and the couple of other Lithotech games that I've played. I want to actually do something more major and just have kind of a mod driven game that we can all run around shoot each other kind of like how combat arms or combat arms were born was turning into we want that back and there's you know quote unquote underground communities for combat arms are born where people are still playing and it's awesome i've even joined some of those servers and played with those guys it's awesome and it sucks what happened with Combat Arms Reborn, and maybe it'll be talked about some other time. I don't know. Like I always say, not my project, not my place to say. I just want a game that we can all play. So if that ends up being TPS, fine. If it doesn't end up being TPS, I'm also not going to be mad. Do I think it's actually a good idea to probably use this over Contract Jack? Yes, because it's source code access and we can start coding in custom game modes and all that stuff without having to do hacky methods to track things like kill-death ratio and all that. But that's kind of not the direction I want to take it. I want to take it on a more fun approach. You know, the kitty cat mines and bomb arms and things like that like if you go here and you search bomb arms which are the oh that's not what i wanted uh i don't think i'm finding the thread that i want to find for this <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> so long story short, I made a mod at one point that put the 3D models of bomb arms from Super Mario 64 into combat arms. And they were the mines that sat on the ground. Uh, we'll do supercars. One, because that's me. You're going to tell me I'm searching too soon? Just some cool stuff. Cool. So, yeah, it was all in here. There's some NPC shot. Oh, no, this isn't exactly it. But whatever. So, yeah, I just want to make a community-driven game. I'm going to definitely start on it. The uh, launcher is going to be created in C-sharp because I feel like that's the easiest language, at least personally for me. I know there's probably a better way to do it and do it similar to, like, I think it was Battle.net for uh, Battlefield was something that was being talked about. But at the moment, I personally, I'm more comfortable with just C-sharp win forms, and I think that's all this needs. So I'm going to download the multiplayer beta or uh, demo of Contract Jack, and we're going to get modding. And I'm hoping that maybe tomorrow... I shouldn't say that because it's tomorrow in nine minutes and there's a lot I have to download for this and do and set up. I'm hoping sometime soon to get a stream schedule created, something that'll be maybe like Tuesdays and Thursdays because I'm busy on Wednesdays and my girlfriend's normally home on Mondays and Wednesdays. And Fridays, I like kind of just to keep to myself. Maybe that'll be a recording day. But like at least Tuesdays, I would like to stream. And a lot of the bulk of my streaming would be this combat art. Well, this Lith Tech project. Because a lot of people want me to bring back Lith Tech. I don't blame you. Give me time. I'm still getting used to even just doing an if statement in C Sharp again. <laughs> Let me know your ideas down in the comments below. 
And maybe what I'll do is I'll post a poll on Discord and um, YouTube and just see what you guys think as far as making some game using such game as a base rather than using a source code of something and fixing the source code. Because I know most of the source code fix for Nolf 2 is actually pretty simple. But man, am I bad at C++. While I did sit down at one point and learn the syntax and kind of understand it, that was also like eight years ago. The last time I basically re released a game hack for something, so about eight years ago. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'll also put out that poll and we'll figure something out. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys understand where I'm coming from with this. And give me your thoughts. Peace out. I don't think this video had to be 15 minutes. If you made it this far, tell me what your favorite thing to eat for lunch is. I know I ask this question a lot, but nobody answers it.